This year, our Learning in Concert program partnered with 55 local schools as we explored the concept of balance. Balance in music and balance in ecology. We defined balance as the way that different parts work together to support each other. In music, we explored how different musical parts, bass line, accompaniment, melodies, each have an important job or niche to create balance in a piece of music. In ecology, we explored how different living things, animals, plants, microorganisms, each have an important job or niche to support balance in an ecosystem. In the fall, a trio of musicians launched our concept of study in live, in-school performances. We explored balance in a New England salt marsh ecosystem and saw how the soil microbes, cord grass, and various fish, birds, and land animals are connected to sustain a balanced ecosystem. They could hear how each musical part, whether more prominent or supportive, had an important job to create a balanced piece of music. In the classrooms, our students interacted with the NBSO salt marsh model, where they placed animals into the model to explore different food webs. Each classroom also experienced a disruption to their salt marsh. When they built the house on the marsh, they decided to use fertilizer to make the lawn be better. <laughs> the nitrates made it into the river, and then algae grew. But, and then the little fish called mama chucks couldn't get any oxygen or sunlight. Tidal restriction, pollution, or development can affect the balance in a New England salt marsh ecosystem. The classrooms then brainstormed actions or interventions to repair the salt marsh and bring it back to a state of balance. The street um, blocks the salt water to go into the marsh. We can just make a bridge like a big hole here and then the salt water can come here and all the animals can be alive. Greenscaping is planting more plants to stop pollution. We can stop using fertilizer that has nitrates. I think we should protect the spawning area so the life cycle can go on. In music, orchestration is the process of choosing instruments or groups of instruments to play different parts of a piece of music. Our students began with the bass line, or bottom support in the music, representing the soil microbes that support the plants from the bottom of our salt marsh. They then orchestrated an accompaniment to add support for the melodies. The accompaniment supports the melodies just as the cord grass supports various species in our salt marsh. As a final step, the students added three melodic lines representing three different animals in the salt marsh. To select instruments for their music, the students used our range board, marking off the range from the lowest to highest note of each melody. The class could then see which instruments of the orchestra could perform that melody within that specific range. The microbes were supporting the chord grass and the bass we're supporting the accompaniments, like the bass line and the accompaniment part is supporting um, all three melodies. I did good because they all um, did a different part and they all worked together. When Terry first contacted me about the Learning and Concert program, I was really intrigued by the idea of using music to teach science concepts. And working with Terry has allowed me to share our research on salt marsh ecosystems the students in a way that they can relate to and be excited by. At the Young People's Concerts, our students came together to hear a live concert with the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra. Throughout the concert, the children heard classical music that demonstrated various ecosystems in a state of imbalance and balance. The orchestra also performed some of the classroom's salt marsh orchestrations and listened as students described how they solved their salt marsh imbalance and orchestrated their musical parts to imitate the same role as various living parts of the salt marsh. 
Learning in Concert's exploration of shared concepts in music and science allow our students to build an understanding from multiple representations that break down the artificial divide among disciplines and represents each concept in the way that it truly exists in the arts and the world around us.